2003 marks the 100th anniversary of the Wright brothers' achievement of turning the dream of flight into reality. Since that historic event, pioneers have advanced human flight beyond our own atmosphere and even to the moon. The next hundred years of innovation in flight will require launch services with greater safety, affordability, and accessibility. To that end, Andrews has designed the Griffin Launch System, which is capable of replacing the space shuttle and stimulating routine, low-cost access to space. Griffin takes off and lands like an airplane, providing unique advantages over vertical launch systems, including dramatic improvements in safety, flexibility, and life cycle cost. Griffin uses the Alchemist Air Collection and Enrichment System, which extracts oxygen for rocket propellant from the atmosphere while in flight, reducing the vehicle's weight and allowing it to take off from conventional runways. Once Alchemist collects its oxygen, Griffin uses traditional jet and rocket engines to power the two-stage system into space. Griffin is capable of carrying various upper stages, each designed to distinct mission requirements ranging from space station crew and cargo resupply and return, to commercial satellite launch and military force projection. As part of NASA's Next Generation Technology Program, Andrews is currently working with NASA and industry partners to configure Griffin to lift payloads in excess of 40 metric tons for various exploration missions, including America's return to the moon. After delivering the upper stage to orbit, the airplane-like first stage glides through the atmosphere and then uses jet engines to fly back and land at an airfield in preparation for its next flight. Because it operates like an airplane and is designed with state-of-the-art technologies, Griffin is less constrained by weather conditions than existing space vehicles. It can also be ready for reflight in a fraction of the time and therefore for a fraction of the cost. Griffin is a revolutionary system that can achieve both NASA and Department of Defense near-term objectives while paving the way for the next 100 years of human flight. <laughs>